Today we're going to look at the idiom when, which is a pretty commonly tested word on sentence correction. I mean, it doesn't come up all the time, but it comes up enough that we should certainly know its usage. So when can only refer to time. And what's fun about this sentence correction question is that it literally says, and she earned them at a time. So that's, that's pretty helpful. Um, although we're not going to go into all these answer choices with as much detail as I normally do, uh, let's read A just so we can get grounded. Uh, as always, sorry, I had to redact certain portions because of copyright, so feel free to click the link in the description box to go to GMAT Club, look at the full question, and come back when you're ready. All right, by 1940, the pilot Jacqueline Cochran held 17 official speed records, and she earned them at a time when aviation was still so new for many of the planes she flew to be of experimental design. Okay, so what I wanted to focus on was the word when here, so a time when. All right, well, because when literally can only refer to time on the GMAT, this is actually correct. Um, what's interesting here is that um, sometimes on the GMAT, they will use when when they mean in which. So you can always tell that when is wrong when you can replace it with the phrase in which and the sentence makes logical sense. So if you can just replace when with in which, or I guess the arrow should go the other way, um, that is a sign that when is wrong. All right, so let's not look at anything else in the sentence. Let's just examine that piece for now. So time when, right? Maybe a time that, no, right? That is incorrect. You wouldn't say time that that does not describe time, only when describes time, so B would be out. A time where, well, that's even more wrong than that because where on the GMAT is another one of these words like when that only has a very specific uh, meaning. So where can only refer to location. So, you know, Paris is the place where blah, 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 something happened. Again, similar to when, if you can replace where within which, and the sentence makes sense, then where is being used incorrectly. So C is wrong. D says a time in which aviation, okay, maybe, like maybe they're just doing a new construction. Potentially E says a time when, all right, maybe, you know, we're open to it. So that would help help you get rid of B and C pretty quickly. Okay, so let's look at look at these in a little bit more detail. So one of the things that really separates A from D and E is the addition of the word and. So if we're going to use and, we don't use it in D and E, but if we're going to use and here, we want to have parallel structure. So the pilot Jacqueline Cochran held 17 official speed records. So we have this verb held, so Jacqueline Cochran is our subject, she's doing this action of holding, and she earned them. So on the GMAT, if you're gonna go the subject, then a verb, and, and then another verb that this subject did, you never wanna have this pronoun here because you don't need it. You can just say that Jacqueline held these speed records and earn them. Like it would be clear enough because the parallel structure would go verb and verb. You wouldn't need to go Jacqueline verb and pronoun verb. Uh-uh. Because it's it's very clear that this she is referring to Jacqueline. It couldn't refer to anyone else. So it's not parallel in A. So I would encourage you to be very suspicious of pronouns like he her, they, she, etc., etc., that pop up after conjunctions like and, but, or on the GMAT. All right, so let's take a look at D and E. So there's a lot of things that are similar, you know, earned at a time, earned at a time. Then they have in which versus when. Aviation was still so new. Uh, aviation was still so new there. Aviation was still so new here as well, such that many of the planes she flew were of experimental design versus that many of the planes she flew were of experimental design. So the only other difference here is um, such that versus, oops, versus just that. So these are the two differences that we're here to hone in on. So D says, uh, earned at a time in which 
aviation was still so new, such that many of the planes she flew were of experimental design, versus earned at a time when aviation was still so new that many of the planes she flew were of experimental design. And our correct answer here is E, for a few reasons, right? It wasn't really, I mean, you could make the argument that it's a time in which aviation was still so new, but it's a lot clearer to say a time when, again, when on the GMAT literally means time. And so E is just doing such a great job of clarifying that for us. Um, as well as the last part, we don't need the such. So what I, what I encourage you to do sometimes is if you're choosing between two answer choices and the difference is that one of them just has an extra word, I, I encourage you to ask yourself, do I need this extra word? Right? And there's only two ways you can really justify it, right? If I need this word such, it's like I'm saying that I need it because of an idiom. I need it because it's the correct idiom, um, or I need it because of meaning. You know, that if I didn't have it, the meaning would not be clear. So if you can't justify the addition of an extra word, either through meaning or idiom or any other grammatical reason, perhaps, you probably don't need it. Don't forget the GMAT sentence correction overall values concision. All right, if you have any questions about this question, feel free to ask them in the comments below.